Hi there and welcome to another chemistry lesson. In this lesson we're going to look at acids and bases and specifically at different models on how to define what an acid and what a base is. Okay, so acids and bases are chemical compounds um, and the following two definitions are the ones that we are going to focus on. The first one we're looking at is the Arrhenius acid. An Arrhenius acid is a substance, is a compound that increases the concentration of H plus ions when diluted into water. Okay, so what we mean is that when if we have a substance that we dilute into water and it ionizes, okay, I'll give you an example. Okay, for example, if we take if we take hydrochloric hydrochloride uh, chloride and we dilute it into water, this is actually a two-way equation into water it will ionize into H plus and hydrochloric uh, sorry and chlorine ions okay now um, what we say is an Arrhenius acid is is a compound that if I dilute it into water it will increase the concentration of H plus ions and that's exactly what we see so um, it is introducing H plus ions into the water and in the same sense we will define an Arrhenius base Arrhenius base as a compound that increases the concentration of hydroxide ions when diluted into water okay so Arrhenius base is a compound that increases the concentration of hydroxide ions when diluted into water so let me give you an example there if we had sodium hydroxide and uh, it ionizes in water that means it breaks up into its ions when we add it to water which gets sodium plus hydroxide ions and obviously it, I mean this is very obvious that when if that is what sodium hydroxide does when added to water it breaks up into sodium and hydroxide ions and obviously it is increasing the concentration of hydroxide ions which means that we will call this an Arrhenius base in the same sense we will call this an Arrhenius acid because it increases the concentration um, of hydrogen ions Okay, that's the first model we'll look at is an Arrhenius acid and Arrhenius base. The next one we will look at is the Bronsted-Lowry uh, definition of an acid and a base. So Bronsted-Lowry acid, this is a substance that will, or a compound, substance that will donate an H plus ion okay or instead of saying H plus ion we could say a proton okay it donates a proton okay example of that uh, actually let's before we look at an example let's look at a Bronsted Lowry base so Bronsted and the O has this funny line through it Bronsted Lowry base is a substance that will accept an H plus ion okay um, or again it accepts a proton okay so why do I say it accepts a proton or an H plus ion it's the same thing because remember um, hydrogen itself has has in its nucleus a single proton usually a single neutron 
and then a single electron if it is a neutral um, element but what it does is it shares its electron or it gives away its electron leaving it only with its proton and nucleus in the base uh, sorry a, a neutron in the nucleus so what we have is if we were to donate a proton the only way we can donate a, a proton is by actually um, giving a hydrogen to a substance because protons are uh, don't travel by themselves okay like uh, electrons can be shared protons can't so the only way to donate a proton would be to donate the element um, or the ion hydrogen plus okay so that these are the definitions but let me give you an example and uh, I think it would become clear if we had ammonium and we add it to water okay you'll see this also ionizes and it produces NH4 plus plus OH I guess I notice what happens here we have ammonia and it produces the ammonium ion and water and uh, we're in is, is the reactant and it produces a hydroxide ion so notice here that ammonia NH3 accepted accepted H plus which makes it a Bronsted Lowry base okay because we said a, a, a base is one that would accept the proton and then H2O used to have two hydrogens and now it, we're left with just one hydrogen and an oxygen which means H2O donated donated H plus so that makes it a Bronsted Lowry acid okay now you'll notice that this is a reversible reaction and in order to define the Bronsted Lowry base and Bronsted Lowry acid we were looking we were going from this side to that side from left to right and we looked at how many hydrogens this, that the one compound have on the left and then on the right side when on the right side it has more Okay. it means that it um, the original one the reactant was a base because it received okay um, if on the left hand side it has more than on the right hand side then it makes it an acid the one on the left hand side is the Bronsted Lowry acid because it donates it because it uh, it lost a hydrogen but now if we were to go in reverse okay so we're now going at doing the reverse reaction then we see that NH4 plus if we go backwards in reverse then it is donating because it's got four hydrogens and um, uh, it is donating its hydrogen to um, to the water molecule or to the um, hydro hydroxide um, ion to produce the water molecule so NH4 donates donates in the reverse reaction H plus which makes it a Bronsted Lowry acid okay in the reverse reaction hydroxide accepts an H plus and therefore making it a Bronsted Lowry base Okay. Now I mentioned this because now what we get is conjugate ba base pairs. In the bronsted lowry model, we get what is called conjugate conjugate acid base pair. Okay, it's it's fairly easy to understand the conjugate acid base pair because if uh, ammonia uh, receives a proton or um, hydrogen ion then it becomes ammonia the ammonia ion and that ammonia ion now has one extra hydrogen 
to donate in the reverse reaction. So this one in the forward reaction is a uh, um, is a base, but in the reverse reaction, if we were to come back, it would be an acid. Okay, um, and let me just do it like this, so you don't get confused what I'm referring to. If we are these two form an acid base pair and these two form an acid base pair why because in the forward reaction this one would be a base and in the reverse reaction it would be an acid okay in the forward reaction hydrogen um, water is uh, donating because it's losing a uh, um, hydrogen ion so in the forward reaction it is an acid and in the reverse reaction okay, if we go back here um, hydroxide ion is receiving and therefore it is a base so the acid base pairs would be would be NH3 and NH4 plus is an acid base pair And and also H two O and O H minus. Okay, and that's it for this video. In the next video, I will look at a few examples of um, uh, acid base acids at <laughs> acids and bases based on the Arrhenius and the um, Bronsted-Lowry definitions. Just some examples, I'll see you there.